Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, I have a quick tip and fix for Photon. Recently, every once in a while, I get this error in the console that says default pool failed to load Photon prefabs slash Photon player. Make sure it's in a resources folder or use a custom IPUN prefab pool. Now this error occurs when I try to instantiate my Photon player across the network. I'm also getting a null reference exception error, but I believe this error is only half happening because of our first error. And so I'm going to play through my project to demo this error. Alright, so here you can see I'm not receiving any messages in the console. I'm using our quick start matchmaking system. Here I've added a field for the player to type in a name. And when I click play now, you can see that something went wrong as we don't have a main camera active in our scene. Then when I scroll up in the console window, you can see that we're receiving those two error messages. And this first error message basically means that it was unable to instantiate our player prefab across the network. And as you can see, when I expand our hierarchy, we don't have any photon player object. Now the error message does say to make sure that our prefab is within a resources folder. Here I have my resources folder. And inside this folder, I have our photon prefabs folder. And inside this folder, I have our photon player object. And so it's really weird that this error is occurring as nothing seems to be wrong. And the easiest way to explain this error is it's just an error that happens every once in a while. For me, in this project, it seems to be an error that occurs every time I open the project anew. To fix this error, it's quite simple. All we have to do is open up the script that's trying to instantiate our prefab across the network. And so here I have the line of code that's trying to instantiate our prefab across the network. And all we have to do is change the string of our prefab name, save the script, go back to Unity and let it load. Then go back to our script, change the string back to what it was, save the script, go back to Unity again. And now when I test my project, you can see that it's working. Now I can't show you too much of this project I'm working on, but it'll be a multiplayer game inspired by the work that I've been doing with our Among Us tutorial series. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson for tips and fixes with Photon. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.